makeup that's really attractive. Today is Wednesday. John's here this morning because we have to run an errand this morning together. He's a sleepy boy. Hi. So funny. <laughs> okay, friends, we'll be back later. I gotta turn into a human now. Daniel with me, who's running all his errands with, all errands with me today. About 11 a.m. We meaning Daniel and I, and uh, Daniel is in his bed, half asleep. Just two seconds, Henry. Let's go. Quickly, quicks. It is gorgeous out here. It's like sunny, warm. John's gonna come home today and hopefully mow the grass because we finally have an opportunity to. It had been raining for so long, so the grass is so big. I have to take Daniel all the way to Farmington, which is about an hour drive, I guess, to get his baclofen pump refilled, which is the pump that's inside his body. We have to refill it, and I have to go to Farmington because stupid me last week, I missed my appointment because I had a brain fog. I'm looking at this bird up here. He's got a big worm in his mouth. <laughs> I love birds. I'm so weird. Am I weird? I love birds. Animals, everything. We did get good news. Sarah texted me this morning that she got her official acceptance to the university in Dublin that she's going to go to next semester, which I didn't have a doubt in my mind that she wouldn't get accepted. It was just validating everything. So she was thrilled. She's got her student ID number. So we have to figure all that out for her. So my daughter's going to Ireland. You know, you always wish, like, like you look back on life and like, oh, when I was in college, I would have given anything to have spent a semester abroad studying. So I'm very happy for her. I think it'll be a completely life-changing experience. You know, she's only 20. She's got her whole life ahead of her. She, she can, you know, do masters or do law school a little bit late. She's gonna have to take a gap year. So I, I graduated with my bachelor's and then I went to work and did my master's degree part-time. Come on, Henry, and that worked for me, come on. But she'll be graduating college, college next year. So that's good. So there's my gorilla cart. It smells funny. It smells like rubbery wheels, funny smell. John's like, assemble that thing today. Get that smell out of here. <laughs> there's the nuts and bolts. I'll do it later. Ah, so many things too. That's not top priority, even though I want it done. That's like a, I want to do. Right now I'm gonna go sit in there with Daniel, drink my coffee. Check on my boy. I need to schedule an appointment with my eye doctor because I need contact lenses because I cannot stand wearing glasses. It's not a visual, it's not a aesthetic thing because I think glasses look nice. I don't know. The any pair of glasses has always bothered my face. Like behind my ears, I'm like so much happier with them off. I really would love to go get LASIK eye surgery so I don't have to deal with anything. Something on the list, but not. High, high priority. This is high priority right here. I'm a little snuggler. A little snuggler. He's in a state of spasticity right now and I need to get him to a doctor's appointment. Doing this by myself to get anywhere, to get somewhere on time at a certain time and make it to an appointment is so freaking hard. Sometimes. Not always, but like this day, 
very hard. I'm like, how red my chest is. Because he was so spastic, I couldn't even get him into the chair. And uh, and I have to go all the way to Farmington because I missed the appointment last week, which was my own fault. But any appointment is a pain because I can never make it work. It is um, quarter of three and we finished up with Daniel's back lift and pump refill. He did really well. It's just he felt warm in there. I took his temperature. He was like 99.8. So he was not a fever or anything. Just warm. Now we're going to turn around and see if I can find a Dunkin' Donuts on the way home. I think there's a couple off the highway. Grab a nice big giant enormous iced coffee. Some ice water for Pookie. Let me just add, for those who might not know what I'm talking about, Daniel's Baclofen pump that we just had a refill for is a small device that is actually inside his body, kind of down to the, to the right of his belly button area. It's a pump that administers medication internally directly to his spine and they do a refill actually by using a very large needle and it goes into this little spot. Um, it sits right be beneath the skin level so uh, it's a quick incision into the device and they right now they're doing it every two months but we might change the dosage amount so that he will not have to have a fill uh, every four months, but what will happen if it gets low is an alarm will start to sound and we were due to start sounding off the 16th and That's an alarm inside his body. So you can't turn it off <laughs> And it's like warning you because if you run out of baclofen the medicine is baclofen b-a-c-l-o-f-e-n uh, You can have pretty bad side effects from withdrawal and baclofen is for muscle spasms the pump is a pretty amazing little thing it just you can set the dosages using a small sort of like a almost like a magnetic computer that detects where the pump is and then it hooks to this little small portable com computer device and then they program it like a computer program so it's pretty cool and so far it's been a much more successful administration of baclofen than when we used to just give him the pill kind Waiting at the high school for Thomas. We're waiting at the high school for Thomas. Well, I got off the ramp at like 3.48 and there's just a manja mega traffic -y over there. Like, it would have taken me about five, 10 minutes to get from that intersection down the road to my house, right? So then I would have dropped Daniel off and had to turn around and go through the traffic a second time. So. Rather than do that, I opted to wait for 5-10 minutes for band to end at 4 o'clock and pick him up then. So that's kind of where we're at at this point in the day. Kind of a busy day today. I've been kind of going and going. But the kids are coming out now. All the band kids are coming out. See Thomas? Huh? Sarah's coming home tonight. She just decided she was gonna come home rather than be sad in her empty room. <laughs> I don't blame her. I mean, once you pack up your dorm room, it's like bad. It's like not nothing left there, and it's kind of sad. So I'm happy she's coming home. So we'll make sure that there's. She just texted me and said, "Can you make sure there's some dinner?" Because she's probably not going to get home until I would think if she le leaves at like five, probably not until like eight, maybe nine, depending on traffic. You never know what you're going to get coming out of the city that time of night. She will be happily received when she comes home. And her bathroom is finished, so that's good. She's gonna help me finish decorating it. Come on, Thomas. Oh my God, it would take so long to come out. 